Nadia, part two. Yeah, you and Petty are really screwed. Nadia, just hang in there. There's a way out of every situation. Come on, what way? Sure, I don't know what to do if they get Petya in prison. Just stop. Nadia, what's with the mood? They won't. He's not a murderer. You just need to find him a good lawyer, and he will prove that it was self-defense. That's the problem. Petya keeps saying that he murdered him. I just can't explain that it was an accident. Oh, God. It's all because of me. Oh, here we go. Are you going to assume all mortal sins? What mortal sins? Nikolai was jealous of my affection for Alesha. That's why he started drinking. And that's why it happened. Mm -hmm. What's your fault in it? It's Alesha who is to blame. He got stuck to you like a burr. You didn't call him, it was vice versa. <laughs> Who's coming so late at night? I don't know, but I'll open it. Alesha, why are you here? Hello. I just wanted to ask you how you were doing. How am I? My husband is dead. My brother was taken by the police. Nadia, I'm sorry. There's my fault in it, too. You asked me to leave you alone, and I didn't even want to listen. All right. Why talk about it now, though? Alesha, leave now, please. Listen, I, I just want you to know that I'm not going to seek encounters with you, and I promise you. But if you need me, I'll always be near. Goodbye. Was it Alesha? I recognized his voice. Yes. I asked him to leave me alone. But why? You could use another friend now, or even more than a friend, perhaps. Nadia, what's keeping you from being together now, huh? Shura, do you really think that it's the right time to take care of my personal life right now? Moreover, I... I don't know what I'm feeling for Alesha. I don't know, it seems. It seems that our love is in the past now. Oh, Nadia, Nadia. Hello there. Meet uh, Mikhail Afanasiev. He's your lawyer. He's going to represent you during the investigation. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. All right then, I'll uh, I'll leave you now. Nadia, I don't need a lawyer. I killed Nikolai. Don't listen to him. It was just an accident. My husband hit me, and Petya stood up for me. As far as I understand, you're my client's sister. Yes. All right. Well, let's start from the beginning. First of all, I've read the materials of the case, but I'd like to hear everything firsthand, of course. What was your relationship with your husband? All right, then. Basically, my husband had been in a bad mood. A bad mood lately, and he also started... started drinking. In a bad mood, you say? How... how exactly was it manifested? Did you fight? Did he physically assault you or your brother? Did he perform any aggressive action or lose his self-control or no, what? No, we had arguments, of course, but no, never physically assaulting, no. Mm. It never happened. Nikolai was always kind-hearted, just impulsive. I see. If your husband were prone to aggression, it would be easier to prove the fact of self-defense, of course. But drinking and the fact that he was intoxicated on that evening will certainly help us with defense. I killed him. Can't you hear me? It can't be changed now. I understand you. You're feeling... You're feeling guilty. But you know, it doesn't have to ruin your entire life. You witnessed Nikolai hitting your sister. 
and you decided to protect her like a real man. You don't have to blame yourself. That's what I'm telling him, but he doesn't want to listen. I don't need protection. I killed him and that's it. Nadia, you'd better think about yourself. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna do everything I can to get the charges dropped against your brother. You shouldn't have to worry. Thank you very much. Come home earlier at least once. I took a new case. I needed to study the materials. I had to meet the client. All right, rascals. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hello, dear. Mm. What's the new case I... all about? Hey, why aren't you asleep? Come on, go to bed. I'm going to protect a boy. He was accused of murder. I see. You took the case of another beggar, as usual. Nothing new. Oksana, don't say it. Don't say what exactly? This is not me who takes the cases in which the government pays pennies and clients pay nothing at all. Well, this is my job. The same lawyers do the same job and get paid differently. When I married you, I thought you were gonna have a career and be able to provide for your family. But there is no career and no money and your stupid voluntary amateur performance. Well, this is my job. Listen, stop it, please. The kids will hear it. Don't do it right now, oh, please. Oh, you're worried about the children. That's something. Do you ever think about what they're going to wear, what we're gonna eat? I think we're doing fine. I don't think we're hungry. Or naked, all right? Wonderful. But it's not a well-being indicator for me. I want to live like a normal, healthy person. Do you understand? I want to wear what I like, and and I want to go out and eat at fancy restaurants, Oksana, you know? we've discussed it a thousand times already. Right. And it's in vain every time. Good night. Alesha, look at the beauty we've got here, man. Dina? <laughs> Dina? <laughs> Hello? Hello. What are you doing here? How'd you find me? Your address was in the emergency care center card, and then the people helped me here. This town is small. I never thought that you'd actually look for me. I wasn't going to. But, Alesha, you see... I'm expecting a baby. Wait, what did you say? I'm pregnant with your child. I just won't cope with the baby alone. And I have nowhere else to go. Of course I won't leave you. All right. Petya. First of all, tell me about your relationship with Nikolai Maximov. Did he hurt you? Did he beat you? Did you guys fight a lot? Did Nikolai drink frequently? And how did he behave after consuming alcohol? Petya, we're not gonna progress like this. 
I need to know at least something that I could hold on to, you understand? Do you get me? I don't know what to say. How can I even help you then, if you're refusing to cooperate? I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> So then? Well, I'm very concerned about Petya's mood. He's refusing point blank to cooperate and rejects defense. But all right, let's, let's not fall into despair ahead of time. I'm convinced that we have the chance to prove that he was acting completely in self-defense. But the thing is that if he keeps on saying that he's guilty, then I'm afraid it's definitely not going to help very much at all. You understand, therefore, we must convince Petya that he's innocent. Yes, I understand everything, and I'll try to talk to him again. Well, what I can do on my end is I'll try to convince him of the positive outcome. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. No, not at all. Not at all. No, but we have nothing else to count on at this time. This is it. I live modestly, but all the necessary things are here. I like it. It's very cozy here. Well, be my guest. Make yourself at home now. Is this your mom? Yeah, that's my mom. So where is she now? Actually, she's in an asylum. When I uh, went missing, something went wrong in her head. Well, now that you're back, why don't you want to take her home? I do, but... She needs special treatment, and I spend all my time at work. But I'll, uh, I'll save enough money, and, and then I'll hire a nurse who can take care of her at home. Alesha, it would be my pleasure to take care of your mom. After all, I'm a graduate nurse, and I have quite an experience. I'll be taking care of her, and the house is one's own fortress. <laughs> Moreover, the fact that you'll be near her will help. You are my kind of angel. Make yourself at home. I'll put the kettle on for you. We're not here to drink tea. I want to tell you to pack your things and get out of here. I don't want the person who caused my brother's death to live in his apartment. Kira. Kira, hold on. I don't understand. What are you saying? What? I'm saying that you're a little gold-digging bitch. You married my brother to get your hands on his apartment. He loved you so much. And then you used him. <laughs> of course. You don't have a penny of your own, do you? And Kira, this. I don't understand. I didn't need anything from Nikolai. Yeah, tell me that you got married out of big love now. Now what is it that you want from me? I want you to suffer as much as I do. I hope your brother gets imprisoned for a long time. Now pack your things and get out of here. Kira, you're pushing too hard. All right, Igor, wait. There's no need. All right, I'll go then. Perhaps then you'll leave me and Petya all alone. You shouldn't have done that. I'm doing what I deem necessary. Good riddance to you. She doesn't deserve this. Just please don't defend her. Stay out of it. Can I come in? Yes, Nadia. What is it? Hello, Miss Pavlovna. I have a personal request. Can I stay in the kindergarten for a couple nights? Oh, God, Nadia. What happened now? There are problems with Kira, Nikolai's sister. I had to move out of the flat. Move out? How come? You're legally allowed to live there. No, I'm not claiming anything. Moreover, to be honest, I have no strength to fight Kira. All right, Nadia, as you wish. Here is the key to the storeroom. Well, of course, it's not for living, but there's a folding bed. Thank you. You've, you've helped me out quite a lot. But it's just for a couple of days. What if an inspection comes? How are we going to explain it? Yes, of course. I'll definitely find myself a place. I don't want you to have problems because of me. Thank you so much. Hmm.
Your mother's condition was caused by anxiety and stress. She couldn't accept the news about your disappearance, and her brain turned on protection mode, a kind of block, we could say. She started feeling better after your return. And the treatment helps, too, as you already know, of course. So I'm going to be able to take her home, right? Tell me she won't feel worse, Doctor. If you're able to provide proper care, we'll release her. Staying with the family will help her, but you need to consider that your mother will be needing special attention from here on out. Of course, yeah, I understand. So I'm drawing up the release? <laughs> yeah, sure. Alesha. Oh, I haven't been here in such a long time. Hey, Mom, we're gonna be all right. Is okay? it true? Like it was before. Oh. You won't leave me now? No, of course not. I won't leave. I'll always be near, and I'll always be taking uh. care of you. <laughs> hello, Marina Arkadyevna. Well, hello, dear. Um, Mom, this is, uh, Dina. Excuse me. She's just pregnant. But what about Nadia? Mom, you see, Nadia and I aren't together anymore. As for Dina, I just don't want my child to grow up without a father like I did. You know what I mean? Do you love her? Mom, what difference does it make whether I love her or not? You were the one who taught me that a man must be responsible for his actions. Nadia, I'm sorry, but I just can't leave it here. The thing is, I had another terrible fight with Igor. So I'm about to end up on the street, too. I don't understand how you can live like this. No love, no support. You're not even sure that you'll have a place to stay tomorrow. Is that a family? At least a kind of family. And you have a family and a place to live, right? No, I don't want it. No, thank you. Shura, I'm so worried about you. Igor has been using his fists on you for a long time. It won't end up well. Do you see how it played out for me? But this won't happen to me. I don't have an impulsive brother, and I'm not going to kill my husband either. You should be your own judge. Igor, will you drive me to the district center? Why so? I need to take a letter to the education department. It's about Nadia. What letter is that? She has to be fired. I don't want our child to be raised by the person who caused a major murder to happen. Kira, are you starting this again? Leave Nadia alone already. You won't bring Nikolai back with it. <laughs> yeah, right. Take her aside. Yeah, come on. I'm not going to take anyone's side. But the girl had too much already. Her husband's dead and her brother's in prison. You kicked her out of her flat. Now you want to take her job too? Igor, you really don't understand? You know she raised a murderer. I can't comprehend your calmness. By the way, your son is right there. Right there next to her. All right, Kira. That's it. I've told you my opinion. Do as you wish. I know that it's pointless to argue with you. All right, sit down, let's go. What are you doing? I'm leaving. 
I don't want to be such a burden to you. I'll get the child on its feet somehow. You don't owe me anything. Dina, listen, you can't be making decisions like that on your own. This is my child, too. I want you to stay here. Do you want to live with a woman whom you don't love? I value and appreciate you very much, and I think it's more important in a relationship. More important? It's just a relationship enough for the baby? Dina, you need to understand. It was unexpected for me, and I just can't... I, I, I don't know... I understand. That's why I'm leaving. I'm not going to let you go, Dina. <laughs> Tell me, who knows where do princes and princesses live? In the castle. In the castle. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't peek. Close them. Open your eyes. Look, I built my magic castle. And now each of us is going to make their own castles. How many floors does my castle have? A floor. That's right. What is it made out of? A construction set. Yeah. Right. Everyone has a construction set on the table. And we're going to make Hello? the same castles. Yeah. Are we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you done it already? Nadia, Let I'm me so have a look. Nadia. Excuse me, Nadia, just for a moment. All right, keep working. I'll be back. Good job, it's all right. Yes? Nadia, there's that thing. I've received a letter from the local education authority. Oh, how are you doing? You won't be able to work here for a while. Are you... Are you firing me? Nadia, this is not my decision. I will have to suspend you temporarily. You must understand, your professional qualities have nothing to do with it. This is because of the scandal with your husband. You'll be able to come back as soon as it quiets down. Okay, 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 okay. And where will I go now? Oh, Nadia. Of course, yes. I understand everything. Right here? Oh, yeah, of course, like this. Oh, see how this fits together? Okay, with the jacket, the hat first. Nadia Alexevna, I wanted to ask you about the classes for the following week. I'm sorry, but I don't know. I don't work here anymore. Who? Did they fire you? That's right. There's still justice somewhere, at least. Does it make you feel any better? I would have felt better if we had figured you out earlier. Nikolai would be alive now. And now I can only hope Let's go home. Let's go home. that I can avenge him somehow. Mom! Let's go home! Please! <laughs> Mikhail, this is Nadia Krilova calling. I'm sorry for calling so late, but I have no one else to come to. I'm sorry for calling so late. Well, that's all right. Are you crying? Come on. Oh, my God, you're freezing. Get in the car. Come on. Thank you. Tell me, what happened now? I don't know what to do. My husband's sister has declared war. First she kicked me out of the flat. And now she made them fire me from the kindergarten. I just don't know where I can go now. All right, well, calling me was the right thing to do. Of course, the job is not a matter that can be resolved quickly. 
But I can help you with a place to live, of course. We have a place very close to the city. You can stay there if you'd like. Really, I... Well, I don't know. It, it feels uncomfortable to burden you. Oh, stop it. It's all right. The house is empty. We don't live there. We got the cottage from my wife's parents. She doesn't like it there. There aren't many commodities. You're probably not going to like it either, but it's a roof over the head. Thank you so much. Thank you. Read us a story! Read us a story! Read us a story! Get to bed now, I said now. Both of you. You heard me. What, what is this? I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to tell Dad. All right. Sit. Come here, both of you. I'm going to catch you. I'm... I'm gonna catch you now. Come here, both of you, sit down. Read us a fairy That's tale. That's it. No fairy tale. I've already read you all of the fairy tales. Listen, we're not gonna go to the cinema tomorrow. Why? The question is why. Because we're not sleepy just yet. Because we're not sleepy. What do we need to do to go to the cinema? Wash our faces and go to bed. All right, are we gonna go to bed? Yes. Mom's not reading you a story. Yeah. All right, go oh, ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Late, as always. There are problems There at are work. always problems at your work. You spend day and night there. If only they paid you for it. Please, I'm Why asking are you asking you? me that all the Listen time? Listen to me, Oksana. Listen I'm to really, what? I'm tired. Please don't start tonight, please. Look, if you don't want to talk to me, I can stay silent. Go talk to your children instead. They've been asking for a fairy tale the entire Couldn't evening. Couldn't you read them a bedtime story? You're their mother. And you're the father. Why don't you go talk to your children right now? There was a princess in a very far away foreign land, and she was a very good girl. She was beautiful and lovely, but she was very sad all the time. But why was she sad, Dad? Because an evil wizard put a spell on her a long time ago. Come on, fall asleep. See, Danya's sleeping, fall asleep, and I'll tell you the fairy tale. They tried everything to make her laugh. They invited clowns. They tickled her. And they told her funny stories. But the princess remained sad. And only the handsome prince could break the horrible spell. So then did he break the spell? Yeah. Of course, but not at once. First he had to... First he had to take a difficult test. And he even had to fight a terrible villain, a dragon. Fall asleep. Dina, there's something that I need to tell you. What happened now? I'm sorry. I should have said it to you earlier, but... Well, I got afraid. Alesha, that's enough. I understand. You have your own life, and I appeared like a bolt from the blue. Pregnant on top of it all. No, you don't understand anything. I don't have my own life. We'll have one life now. What do you mean by that? I mean, I want you to become my wife. I want our baby to have a legal father. Are you serious? Of course I am. Will you marry me? Oh, God. Alicia, yes, of course. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Hello? Oksana, hello there. This is Ludmila Mikhailovna, your new neighbor. Remember me? Uh -huh. How are you doing? How are the kids? Well, you haven't been to the Dasha in a while. Oh, that's why I'm calling. There's a girl living in your house, I think. Who is she? That's what I'm asking. I found it strange as well. so clean here, you know? Thank you. Oh my goodness, is it all for me? But why would I need so much? I've only bought the things that you would need. Thank you, but I feel uncomfortable because of you being worried about me so much. I can go to buy products in the tent if I need something. I know those tents, Nadia. You can't buy anything decent. I am not going to let you die of hunger. Thank you for everything. No one ever cared about me so much. It's my pleasure, Nadia. Oh, I've put on the kettle. Would you like tea or coffee? I'd better have some tea. Mm-hmm. Let's call each other by our first names. No more Mikhail onwards. Agreed? Yes, that's all right. Misha. Here. Put them on the table. husband and wife now. You may congratulate each other. <laughs> you know, I still feel terribly uncomfortable in this place. You're not only helping Petya, you're also nursing me through this. Nadia, helping people is my job. I want to help you somehow too, though. I can't just sit at home like this. Misha, what if I teach and school your children? How do you like it? Would you like this idea? I think that it's a wonderful idea. Really? Oh, just yeah, Just take no, a look great. at him. Lovebirds, huh? Oksana, calm down. This isn't what you think. Calm down, So please. I misunderstood it, right? I'm supposed to do household chores and raise kids while you're chilling at our place with your mistress. Nadia. Right at my own place. Oksana, what are you saying? What, what lover? Nadia's my client's sister. She has nowhere to live. I didn't have time to warn you. Calm down, oh, please. Oh, really? How did I forget about that? You are the protector of all the poor people, right? Stop making a fool out of me. Make her disappear right now. Shh, come with me. Come on. Please stop right now. She's not going anywhere. She has nowhere to go. Are you sure about that? Mikhail, you have lost your mind. I am not going to tolerate your mistress in my home. I am telling you once again, she is not my mistress. Don't try to break through the closed door. Kira has changed the locks. Oh, really? Does she live here now? Not sure. I mean, Kira has her own flat. And the new lock must be protection from you. You've put her brother into the grave. Deal with it now. That's just nonsense. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, this Nadia freaks me out so much. She's always pretending to be a saint. She looks at me as if I were some kind of criminal, but she's no better. Oof. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. That's what they say. Well, stop bothering. She's not worth your anger. Moreover, we're moving out soon. You'll be in a decent society, and you'll forget all about them. What are you talking about? Where are we going? I've been offered a job in Moscow. <gasps> Boris, don't <laughs> lie to me! <laughs> so we'll change... We'll change our flat. My friends have found several options for us already. Boris! <laughs> <laughs> Nadia, what are you doing here so late? Nadia, Nadia, what happened? You're shivering. Let's go, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, here's my Alesha. Nadia? What's going on here? Mom, leave the questions for later, okay? Sit down, please. <laughs> Dina, make some tea, please. Thank you so much. Congratulate you two. Uh, yeah, we've registered today. Let us all celebrate this event. <laughs> Here you go, Alesha has brought champagne. <laughs> yeah, we just need to chill a little, yes. little bit, okay? <laughs> uh. <sighs> oh, thank you so much, but I'd better go. I don't want to bother anyone. Just wait, okay? First of all, you're not bothering anybody. And where would you go in this condition, anyhow? Somewhere else. Although, to be honest, I have nowhere to go. So what now? Are you going to sleep in the street? You must stay with us. No, thank you, but I really don't want to burden anyone here. You're not burdening anyone here. We have enough space for everyone, right? <sighs> no, Alasha, thanks, but I can't stay tonight. We won't let you go anywhere alone tonight. <sighs> All right, drink your tea and I'll go talk to Dina. Dina, look, I understand what you're feeling, but try to understand me too. I can't leave Nadia in the street like that. We've just married and you're bringing home your ex-bride and you want me to understand that? Look, she's alone and she has nowhere to go. If we say no to her now, I don't know what's gonna happen to her. What about me? What will happen to me? I'm so afraid of losing you. Yes, I used to love Nadia, but those feelings are all gone now. Do you understand? You're my wife now. As for Nadia, we should just help her like people do. Come on. I know how kind-hearted you are inside. Alesha. No, seriously. All right, let her stay then.
Do you need any help? No, thank you. I'll cope. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Thank you for letting me stay over here. I'm only doing this for Alesha. I hope you're not going to abuse our hospitality. Of course not. I'll move out as soon as I find a room. And forget Alesha. He's mine now. And we're going to have a baby. You shouldn't have come. You're only wasting your time. Don't say that. You're my brother, and you're here because of me. That's ridiculous, Nadia. I killed him. I killed a man. My place is here now. You were protecting me. Who knows how it would have ended if you hadn't stood up for it me. It doesn't matter if I were protecting you. Nikolai is dead. Stop trying to make excuses. Live your life. You've sacrificed too much because of me already. You're accused of murdering Nikolai Maximov. How do you plead? I plead guilty. The court will now prepare to deliver judgment. Petya, what have you done? I have done what I think is right. I feel sorry for Nadia. She had so much at once. Yes, poor girl. She has suffered a lot. Marina, do you think Alesha still has feelings for her? Dina. And they had such a big love after all, so I... And now it's gone and done. Lesha has a family. You're expecting a baby. Get the past out of your head. By the name of the Russian Federation, Petya Alexievich Krylov is convicted of the violent crime provided for in Article 105... Part 2, Paragraph A. And he is to be sentenced to no less than seven years of imprisonment. The sentence will be served in a general penal colony that is run by the state. Do you understand the sentence? Convict, leave the courtroom. Are you happy now? That is right. The boy got what he deserved. I wish I could get his sister in prison, too. Nadia, not all is lost. We will appeal this. We will fight for him. Do you hear me? we should talk? I think we've already discussed everything. No, sorry, my dear. I am not buying that she is the sister of one of your clients. I have no other explanation. And I'm not going to lie to you. So you want me to believe that you helped that pretty girl simply out of kindness? Do I look like an idiot? Oksana, it's up to you whether to believe it or not. I'm telling you one more time we have no relationship. The only thing that we talk about is her brother's case. I do understand. Uh. 
Oh, hello there, Nadia. You know, I've been thinking about you recently. Hello, how's Katenka doing? Oh, don't even ask me. After you left the kindergarten and became a total mess, Katenka's been grizzling all the time. Sometimes she even refuses to go to the kindergarten. I already had to... Hello, Maria. Hello. I already had to take her to my work several times. Perhaps you should send her to another kindergarten. We've tried to, but they're not taking her. They're saying that all the groups are full. I don't know what to do at all. I'm close to losing my job. Well, I can babysit her if you want me to, and I can teach her, too. Really? You'd help us out a great deal. Really? Really. Okay, it's a deal, then. I'll come to you tomorrow, okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Honestly, thank you, Nadia. See you Katenka tomorrow. will be happy. Thank you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Taste it. Mm. <laughs> My <laughs> Boris. <laughs> You're spoiling me. Another one. No. I just knew where to order them. Oh, Boris, it's so delicious. Here you go. <gasps> mm. It's only beginning. <laughs> Hold on, there's much more to come. Oh my, Boris. I'm burning with impatience. <laughs> Let's have a toast. Here's to us. Hold on. Tell me honestly. After we move to Moscow, Will you marry me? <gasps> oh, Boris. <sighs> of course I will. Yes, I will, Boris. <laughs> and now let's toast. <laughs> Here's to you. Here's to us. All right. Hey, listen, kids, why aren't you asleep? Hello. Hi. Hello. We were waiting for but you. But it's so late now. Where's your mother? Mom has She's... left here. Mom has left? How did she leave you alone? She said that you would come really soon. All right. I see. Ah. All right, children. Enough drawing for today, all right? Please stop. Stop, stop, stop. But, Dad, can we play for just a little bit longer? No. Brush your teeth and then we'll go to bed. Come but on. Dad, come on, please. Honey, uh, all the kids have been sleeping for a long time. Let's well, go to Dad, bed. Come I'll on. tell you a fairy tale. Come on. Come on. Ah. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Oh, <laughs> home already? <laughs> Why aren't you in a mood, huh? Ah, here as always. Oksana, how could you leave the children alone? Well, what's the problem? Nothing happened. Everything's all right. <laughs> I am stunned by your irresponsibility. What kind of a mother are you? Well, that's just me. What kind of father are you, huh? You're not ideal, that's for sure. You are hardly ever at home. <laughs> Listen, I work all day. Hmm. Yeah, I know you work with ladies in town. I don't want to listen to this garbage from you again. Do you hear me? Don't listen if you don't want to. Let's make some more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it working? Hello. Hello, Mommy. Look what Auntie Nadia and I oh. have made. Wow, how beautiful. Katenka made it. On your own? Mm hmm Katenka, you did so great. Did you cut it out on your own, too? It's really beautiful. I show her this one, too. Ah, oh, and the butterfly. 
Honestly, thank you very much, Miss Alexevna. Thanks a lot. So listen, Nadia. Can I maybe ask you to babysit Katenka for more time? I'll pay you, of course. Of course, yes, sure, absolutely. It would be my pleasure. Thank you so very much. Thank you. You'll help us a lot. Not at all. <laughs> Hi. Oksana, you and I need to talk. Talk if you need to. This isn't a family. This is a bad copy of one. And it's been like this for a very long time. Talk, go on, go on. We need to at least fix something for the sake of our children. I understand that the feelings could, they could grow stale, but there has to be some respect, at the very least. You know, honey, honestly, this is not my fault if we have problems in the family. Go ahead and fix it if you want to. You actually have to buy and cook food in order for it to get into the fridge. You know what? I can eat in a cafe, and the kids get fed in the kindergarten. Hold on, let's brush his eyes to make him see everything. <laughs> okay. Hello, Katinka. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? We're making a snowman. A snowman? Great. Oh. oh, hey, Nadia. I'd like to talk to you. I've talked to the parents of other kids from our group the other day, and so it turns out that many of them would like you to teach their children as well. It would be great, but I think I would need a room for that, though. Of course, listen, I've already thought a lot about it. You know there happen to be a ton of state support programs. I and parents will help you organize everything, if you agree, of course. Well, yes, of course I agree. That's great. Then we'll gather the necessary documents and sign all that's needed. Yeah. We'll also need your diploma. You have a diploma, right? No, I don't have it yet. I'm asking you, please, show some understanding. <sighs> Nadia, I understand your situation very well, but you... You didn't pass your last session, and I have no right to allow you to pass your exams, let alone write your diploma. But I'll pass everything. You have to understand, I need the diploma. I do understand. Do you understand the position that you're putting me in? Frankly speaking, I have to raise a question about expelling you. However, knowing how you studied all the time, I think I'll give you... A chance to test out everything. Okay? Hmm? Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor Vladimirovich. I won't let you down, I promise. I hope so. Good luck. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh, wow. I've got paid for a month ahead today. Aww. Take it. <laughs> no, Nadia, leave it. Come on, take it. You'll find use of it. And I can't keep living on your money forever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're smiling. Did something good happen? Mm hmm. Several of the parents from the kindergarten want me to teach their kids as well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, and they gave me a wonderful idea to open up my own children's center. They promised to find a location for me. That's wonderful. I'm sure it'll all work out for you. Thanks a lot. Hey, Boris, I'm home.
calling is currently unavailable. <gasps> What are you doing here? Where did you get the keys? Actually, we would like to ask you the same question. We had an agreement that you would move out of here. What's going on? Sorry. With whom <clears throat> did you have the agreement? Why am I supposed to move out? With your relative, of course. He said that the flat was vacant and that we could move in easily. That's I it. I don't understand. What are you doing? Why are you moving into my flat? On what basis? On what basis? What do you mean? On the basis of the purchase agreement? Take a look at it if you aren't aware yet. That's so ridiculous. I didn't sell anything at all. I'm sorry, what's going on here? Calm down, my dear. The flat was sold by Boris Miloslavsky under the power of attorney. It's signed by you. Here's a copy of it, by the way. Yes, the power of attorney. But I gave it to him so that he would exchange the flat. We were moving to Moscow together. Well, unfortunately, it's between you and him. But you will have to move out of here anyway. The sooner, the better. Hey. Are you nuts? Who are you trying to pick a fight with? <clears throat> Come on! Break it up! Stop it! Get both of them back to solitary confinement for 24 hours now! We need to persuade Petya to appeal for retrial. I'm going to try, but sometimes it seems to me that I'm powerless. He's terribly stubborn. Yes, he is stubborn, but drop the pessimism. I promise you will get a retrial. Listen, tell me, how are you doing? Oh, I'm all right. I've got back to studies, and I've passed already four exams with flying colors. I'm getting my diploma soon. Well, that's some real good news. I'm happy for you. I believe in your brilliant future. Well, I'm not sure about brilliant, but... Misha, I'm finally opening up my children's center. I'm gathering documents to obtain the license now and looking for sponsors. So tell me, how's it going? Well, there shouldn't be any problem with the license, but the situation with sponsors is complicated. I think I can help you. How? Do you know someone who would like to invest in it? That man is sitting right in front of you. No, Misha. I'm sorry, but I can't take money from you. No, I won't allow it. But why? Do you think that I would be a bad sponsor? No, I just... I think that your family needs it much more than I do. Nadia, listen. My family, they have everything that they need, okay? Moreover, I'm not giving this money away. When the center becomes full scale, you'll pay me back. Everything's all right. Misha, thank you very much. I really appreciate everything that you're doing for us. Oh. Tea? Of course. Thank you. This is going to be great, Nadia.
Oh, God, Petya, what happened? Did you have a fight? Petya! It's nothing. Don't bother. Don't bother? What do you mean? Petya, I'm worried about you. Petya! I'm all right. Everything is as it should be. No, this is not how it should be. I'm telling you, for the hundredth time already, you're not guilty, and this is not a place for you. And I won't let you throw seven years of your life away. Nadia, is that all? No, it's not. You have your studies, your work, your beloved girl ahead of you. You won't be able to get any of this sitting here. Petya. If you're not thinking about you, think of me at least. Do you think that I'll be able to live knowing that my brother is in prison? We don't have anyone else. And we can only count on each other now. And what I need from you now is your support. Please, brother. Petya, I'm begging you. You need to appeal for a retrial soon. Hello, Shira. What? Hold on, what hospital is it? Yes, I got it. I'm on my way now. I'm such a dumb fool. Why didn't I listen to you? Did Igor do that to you? <laughs> he got jealous of my affection for some guy in the street. He just smiled at me and Igor got mad. He decided there was something between us and... I'd never seen that guy in my life. Shura, calm down. It's all right now. Everything's gone, okay? What am I to do now? Well, leave Igor, first of all. And keep on living for you. I don't know. I'm just not used to living alone. Shura, come on, take a look at me. I coped with everything that happened to me. And you'll cope too. I promise you. You're going to get through this. Shall I understand it? What is it? This is a bank account statement. I can see that it's a statement. I just want to know where all the money in our savings went. Oksana, first of all, this is only part of our savings, all right? I loaned them to a friend. Without asking me, is that right? Listen, I don't understand. What's your problem? <laughs> Look, we won't die without this money. We've helped a good person. <laughs> of course. You're thinking about others first. Do you ever think about your wife? Did you think that I need a new fur coat? Well, what happened to the last one? We bought it last year, didn't we? Am I supposed to wear it for ten years? My dear, you only think about entertainment and clothes, but that's not enough to be happy. Would you stop lecturing me already? Look at this preacher. <laughs> you look happy. <laughs> Tell me, what is it, huh? Lesha, I found a location for the children's center, and the rent is low. I've already put down the deposit. That's great news. Congratulations. And there's another thing. Look. Look, I got the license today. Oh, God, I don't even believe that it's happening to me. <laughs> you deserve it more than anyone else. I'm very glad for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Dina, it's not what you think. I believed you, and you... What happened? Dina. Dina, what happened? Tell me. Dina? I don't know. It hurts. It hurts a lot. This is all my fault. If something happens to Dina or the baby, I'll never forgive myself ever. Lesha, stop. Don't even dare say that. They are going to be all right. That's weird, right? Do you remember how we used to dream about our family? Yes. It seems like a long time ago now, but you have a wonderful wife now, and you'll have a baby soon. As for me... I'm sure that you'll find happiness too, Nadia. Do you think so? Absolutely. I don't know. Your wife and baby will be all right. Of course, we'll have to monitor them for some time, but there is no threat to life. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Are you staying here or going to the children's center? What center? Oh, haven't you heard? Nadia Alexevna is opening a kind of a kindergarten, and we decided to move there. The groups are not so big, and there are new educational techniques. Moreover, she gets on with the children so well, and they're attracted to her too. <laughs> You won't believe what I've just learned. Nadia is opening a kindergarten. Nikolai's dead. Her brother's in prison. And she still doesn't care. Kira, shouldn't we stop? Look at it from another point of view. You don't know exactly what happened and how. Nikolai had a very difficult character. He could lose his temper and... What are you trying to say? Kara, you... You can't haunt yourself and others with it for the rest of your life. Let it go. You'll see it will be easier for you. It's no one's fault. It just happened. It just happened. How are you? Dina, listen. There is nothing between me and Alesha, and there couldn't be anything. Do you really think that I would be able to do this to you after everything that you have done for me all this time? Alesha loves you very much. He loves you and your future baby. Do you really think he loves me? Of course. I can see how he looks at you. So get rid of all those stupid <sighs> thoughts. You should be thinking about the baby in the first place. That's the last one, I think. Nadia did great, of course. She's doing it with such love. I hope that we're going to bring our baby here, too. Of course. Hello, hello, Shara. <clears throat> Sorry I'm so late. I was moving things to the rented flat. 
Hey there. Hello. Hello, Alicia. So did you leave Igor? Yes. I decided to take my friend's advice. What shall I do? You can help me set the toys. <laughs> it's nice here. Do you like it? Well, this means that you won't reject my offer. What offer is that? I want you to work with me. I think it looks gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Listen, why don't you try it on and see if, if you like it, huh? Why? It costs a living. It's far too expensive. <laughs> such an amazing woman should not be worried about such small things. A real diamond needs a proper setting, you know? Try it on, please. Well, if you insist. All right, I'll try it on. Hey, lady, help her, please. Irresistible. <laughs> I think this fur coat just must belong to you, love. I'm not sure whether I will be able to accept such presents from you. You just have to do it. Or my heart will be completely broken. You're a master of persuasion. Who would not fall for such a gentleman like you? <laughs> Kids, go get changed. Go change. So you bought it after all? Yeah. I went to the district center. I decided to cheer myself up. <laughs> oh, wow. That's very expensive. We could live half a year on this. You'll wear it once during the whole winter. Misha, you are boring me to tears. Instead of complimenting your own wife, you are assaulting me again. Oh, Vanetchka! <laughs> Auntie Nadia, we're here for you. To me? Hello, Nadia. You've settled it all very nice here. Well, thank you. We tried hard. Nadia, I'm here to give you the keys to Nikolai's apartment. You can live there. Nadia, I'm so sorry. I... I shouldn't have started that war. Nikolai's death threw me out of my stride, and I, I couldn't look at things objectively, and I... All right, Kira, let's forget it. Nadia, I'm very sorry that I can't fix everything. Why, there's something that you can help me with, though. You? Have you come to gloat?
It hurts so much after Nikolai's death. So much. I thought I'd feel better if you were punished in prison. But I never felt better. Petya, I know that Nikolai was not an angel. I know he could lose his temper and hit Nadia. And you were protecting her. I believe that you didn't want to kill him. But it happened the way that it happened. And Nikolai's gone. This is not your fault. This was an accident. And there's another thing. Hetya, I want to say I'm sorry for being mad at you. I hope one day you'll forgive me. Fantastic woman. <laughs> it all just depends on the man who's near. I need the right motivation. I have something. I've prepared a small present. <laughs> small present? You're literally spoiling me. Well, this is what women are for, right? <laughs> Listen. So I've been thinking. Why don't we rent a flat? A little love nest. And we'll be able to meet whenever we want. What do you think of that? Does that sound good to you, huh? That'd be just wonderful, my love. Do you have something to tell me? Am I supposed to? Who's the man who gave you a ride just now? Just a man I know. Just a man, right, yeah. You wouldn't be kissing a man you don't know near the windows of your house, would Misha, you? Misha, I am really tired of being a model wife. <sighs> Oksana. I'm not asking you to pretend to be a model wife. Do it for the kids. We have to try to save the family for them. <sighs> to be honest, I don't want it at all. This is an appeal for a retrial.
Petya, we've all done things that we regret now, but you've got to move on. Listen, you need to understand the feeling of guilt for Nikolai's death doesn't have to destroy your life. I want to help you start a new life. Petya, we can do this. Sign right there. Dad, Dad can, can we, we watch, watch cartoons? cartoons? Could we please, Dad? Okay, not for too long, though. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to. No, I will. I love cartoons. <laughs> Good morning, boys and That's girls. funny. <laughs> but listen, this you know that cartoons aren't the real, right? They're made up. The yeah, show. they're not real. <laughs> yes, okay, it is. So I'm sorry, swimming. but I have left. We like some swimming, don't we like swimming? Oh, sure. This makes me laugh. Well, I hope we don't get caught today and it makes me laugh like, too. Oh, no, I love it. I love it. it. So I think it's think really I great. Think. Come here, please. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Why are you hugging us so hard? <laughs> Good job, everyone. Let's sit down. Where are you going? Come here. All right. Little triangles. Good job. All right. What are you going to do? Well, let's turn it around. <laughs> Take care. Oh, got it. Here you go. I'll bring it. Do you want a drink? Like this? Misha? What are you three doing here? Hello, Nadia. Hello. Well, I heard a lot of good things about this place, so I decided to come here with my kids and thought we'd have a look. Hello. This is Nadia. I'm Danya. And you? I'm Masha. It's very nice to meet you. Would you like Hello. to play with us? Yes. yes. Would you like to draw too? Yes. yes. All right, so albums and pencils are over there and you can go and you can draw. Come on. Misha, I thought we agreed to limit our communication. We really shouldn't provoke your wife. Well, there's no one to provoke actually. My wife left me for another man. Look, I'm free now. How come? What about the children? Well, the children stay with me, as you can see. Well, I, I'm so sorry that it turned out like this. Don't, I'm not. I can freely say that I love you now. And I'm asking you, be with me, be with us now. We can be a family. Well, Nadia, that's if you're ready, of course, to take this burden on. Are you doubting my professional skills here? You know I can cope with a bigger number of kids. Well, I sure hope so, my dear. Will you marry me? What? Will you marry me? Yes. All right. Mikhail, this is the end of the road. This is where we close the door on our relationship. We have our separate lives now.
Hello? Honey, hello! Uh, oh, I've been missing you terribly. There's a very pleasant surprise waiting for you at home. When are you coming? Not wait for you. What do you mean? Are you not coming again? But you haven't shown up in a week and a half already. Hold on. Are we even in a real relationship? Hold on, tell me one thing. Do you need me? Hello? You can't talk? What do you mean? What do you... Hello? Nadia, it's all right. Don't yes, worry. Yes, yes, it's all right. Oh. You look wonderful, love. Thank no. you. Petya's late, though. All right, well, don't worry I'm about just it. Just a little bit. <laughs> Please don't have too much, all right? We're taking the certificate tomorrow. Hold Please. on a minute. You told me you'd drive. <laughs> oh. uh, an upbeat kind of movie where everything ends well, huh? Uh, what about really? you? Well, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, really? Well, well you know. Well, you know. <laughs> well, that's what I was going <laughs> to tell you. Yeah. I wouldn't have oh, well. another drink. <laughs> no. you know, I know. I <laughs> Yeah. So, oh my gosh. Oh, well, that's some celebration you've got. Oh. 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 Brother. <laughs> my beloved brother is back. Oh, I've been missing Nadia. you. Nadia. Nadia. What? Okay. Enough what? Okay, that's enough. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Misha instead. He helped me release you. Congratulations. That's pretty tall. Go ahead, sit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Make some room over there. I think, I think you must be room. hungry. Yeah. Dig in. Would you like some salad? Come well, I am. I can't Here wait to go. eat. Okay. Right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Do whatever you want at this point. You do you can't want do it. Do you want some excited? Yes. Okay. Oh no, I can't have any. Here. Thank, Here. You. Thank you. Put that over there. Perfect. <laughs> well, my girl, did I tell <laughs> you your fortune, go. right? No, you have to try it. It's so delicious. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to have the third baby. Oh, let's see. Uh, All right. Okay, okay, here you go. I'll run to the table. Go ahead, right kids. Go oh, ahead. don't forget the spoon. Yes, yes, yes indeed. God, why haven't you told me? Yes, thank you. Why haven't you told me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I want some of that, please. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Okay. Friends, here's to oh, love. Sure. Why don't we all toast to love? Here's to love. Yes. Cheers, right. everyone. <laughs> <laughs>